I want to introduce you to our white toner Oki printers. So with this printer you can print white. I'm going to show you in this video a few papers that we use for this white toner laser printers. Okay, we're going to do forever papers, laser papers, so you need to heat up your rubber and your base of your press so that it's hot to the touch. So you're going to close your press and let it run the time until your press is so hot that you can't touch it. Okay, first we're going to do A and B uh, paper and that's for porous substrates and we're going to put it on a dark shirt. And this is your A foil, so it's a milky um, paper and you're going to print on the milky side, the side that you can scratch off. And then your B paper is your glue and that's going to transfer glue to your print. So it's only your print going to be transferring to your shirt. Okay, this is my A paper printed, so I print it on the milky side. And then I'm going to remove one centimeter on each side so that my print is smaller than my B paper. And then the milky side, the side that you can scratch off, that side will face the white side of your B paper glue. So that side scratches off and then make it fit. Okay, my base is hot, so now we're gonna place a copy, normal piece of copy paper on top of my base, on top of the rubber. And then I'm gonna place my A and B paper where my, uh, where my milky side faces my B paper and the B paper will be at the top. And then I'm going to put another copy paper on top of the B paper. My press is set to 160 degrees, 120 seconds and press it. When done you have to work quick. We're going to remove the copy paper quickly and keep your print on top of your rubber, don't lift it up and in a smooth motion slowly remove it flat on your press until it's off and then all the glue have transferred to my print like you can see and this is my print now it's ready to be transferred to my t-shirt and this is the B paper where all, all the glue transferred to my uh, print we're going to pre-press the t-shirt for a few seconds so that we can get, off, get rid of all the moist in it. Cut the eye paper as close as possible to the print and then put it on top of your t-shirt and press it for 30 seconds on top of your t-shirt and that's going to be 160 degrees still. When done, let it cool off completely. I'm going to rub it a few times and then I'm going to take it off the press and let it cool down on the table. Okay, when it's cooled on, down completely, we're going to roll it off the print as flat as possible to the table. We're going to finish it off with a silicone paper and we're going to press it for three seconds. Okay, and it's done. So it's only the print transferring to your t-shirt. Okay, now we're going to do a forever gold. Um, that's a flex and you're going to print black on this A flex gold and then it's only the print that's going to your t-shirt again and the black of the print will transfer to your B paper and your print will be gold in the end, not black. So cut off a centimeter of each side so it's smaller than the B paper, make it fit and put it aside. Make sure your press is hot again to the touch. Place a, a normal coffee paper on top of the base and then place the print with the B paper 
on top of the rubber. Place another piece of copy paper on top of your B paper and then press it for 100, 135 degrees, 120 seconds. And then done, remove the copy paper, give it a quick rub and then remove it immediately while it's still hot. One motion, slowly and only the glue transfer to the black print. And now if we transfer it to your t-shirt, just pre-press the t-shirt first. And then when you transfer it to your t-shirt, it will be gold. Okay, so press it for 30 seconds and still on 135 degrees. When done, let it cool down completely, give it a rub, put it on the table and then let it cool down. Okay, also roll it off slowly and we're going to finish it off with silicone paper again. So for three seconds we're going to press it of a silicone sheet on top. Okay, and it's done. And now it's gold. The black turned into gold. For laser trance you need to put your press to 180 degrees and 30 seconds and it needs to be heavy pressure. So you have to struggle to close the press basically. Okay, when the pressure is right, remember your um, rubber that you need, your laser rubber. And you don't have to heat up the base of the press. So let's just pre-press the shirt to get rid of all the moist. Okay, so this is our laser trance um, paper for light shirts. And this is my print. So I'm going to cut as close as possible to the edges of my, my picture. I don't want too much glue on my t-shirt. Okay, so place it face down. And press it for 30 seconds. When time is up, remember to wrap it for a few seconds very hard and then immediately remove the picture um, before it cools down. Otherwise you're going to struggle getting the paper off. Okay, we're gonna finish it off with a piece of silicone paper so that the, the print is more durable and it sinks into the material. So we're gonna press it for 40 seconds. So when time is up, just remove it and your t-shirt is done. Okay, this is our Forever Classic Plus paper. So this is also a, a paper for your white cotton t-shirts. It's also heavy pressure and then 200 degrees and 20 seconds you will set your press. You don't have to eat up the base of the press. Use your rubber again at the a bottom. And we're going to take out all the wrinkles and moist by pre-pressing our t-shirt.
and we're gonna cut our picture as close as possible again to the edges. You wanna remove all white areas that's unprinted of your picture. Again, this is to avoid uh, too much glue to your t-shirt. Okay, then you will put it face down. And then press it for heavy pressure, 20 seconds, 200 degrees. If time is up, remove it immediately. You have to work very quickly before it gets cold. Okay, then we're going to finish it off with silicone paper again and so that it sink into the t-shirt for durability. Okay, remove the silicone paper and it's done. Next we're going to do multitrons um, and multitrons is for your non-porous items like a mug or wood or a mirror, um, ceramic, plastic. First you need to heat up your heat press with an old mug inside. So a nice and tight pressure but not breaking your mug and then switch your press on, set your um, temperature to 160 degrees. Your set will also be 160 and then your time will be 180 seconds. Okay, then we're going to wait for it to heat up. I'm going to prepare my mug. So this is my print and I'm going to cut it um, out and then we're going to put it with heat tape to our mug. Okay, so put it around and line it up perfectly. Okay, so when you put your heat tape, don't put it over your uh, picture because then wherever you put it, it's not going to transfer the image there. So it's going to leave a gap. So make sure it's only on the edges of your paper. You need to keep a bucket of lukewarm water next to your press so that we can cool down the mug in the end. Okay, when the, the temperature is reached, put in your mug and let it run for that 180 seconds. Okay, when time is up, switch off your press. Take out the mug, let it rest for about one to two minutes, and then we're going to put it into the water. Now it needs to cool down completely before we remove the paper. Okay, remove the heat tap. And then slowly, in one sliding motion, I remove the in the paper. To remove the scuff marks, um, you can clean your mug with rubbing alcohol on your mug, and then your paper marks will be gone. When your mug is done and cleaned, then you're gonna put it into the oven. So you're gonna set your oven to 180 degrees and 20 minutes. And then you're going to bake your mug and if you when you bake it that picture will last longer 